So let's work on a couple grab defenses. There's thousands, literally thousands of them. Th these are just a few ways of doing them. There's no right or wrong, but as martial artists, we need to have the largest expanse of possibilities we can think of. Hitting's always good, grappling's okay. And then we will categorize them later as how effective they are on the street at the, at the proper time. For now, we are, we are respecting tradition, we are learning the kata, but most of these, if not all, will barely work well on the street. But when I practice these, you won't find them on the street, they will find you. And all of a sudden, you'll be grabbed by someone and you'll do the right thing at the right time. You'll escape or they'll go to the ground in bleeding pain and you're like, what did I do? Oh, it's all of those thousands of Wednesday nights at the dojo or the uh, 250 Thursday nights or the 510 Saturday BBCs I came to. It will kick in and you will survive. This is the art of survival, not the art of sport. My job isn't to tap you out or win a trophy or win a prize. It's to get home to my family and to deter the threat. There it is. It's one. Should we let someone grab us? Never. Sir. Never. Maybe. If I'm going off a cliff, I might, he might be saving me. So there might be a situation. Oh. Now, in real life, you break it. I'm being very kind because he's almost a black belt. Shifting here, hooking. He's going to retract as he does. You break his shoulder and all that it entails. <clears throat> so this one you have to be unbelievably careful with. Could I get hit with the other hand? Does he know it's coming? You saw how... I didn't do it fast, but I don't allow him to hit because I would have broken it first. So I'm not doing this. Yeah, he's going to hit you ten times. Go faster. The flow is one and a quarter. Before he blinks, I've broken it. So that only comes with a lot of practice. But for tonight, it's one, two. Step into the kukan space. I've created this. Yeah, right there. Modern clothing, it looks similar to this. Jacket, t-shirt. So you have central grabs on the lapel, that's one. You have a center grab of the neck, that's two. You have a two-handed center. Then you have, relax your arms, you have edge grabs. Edges are on the edges of his body, they're out here. Sleeve grab from the outside in. Arm grab. Wrist grab, these are on the edge of his body. Another type of grab is uh, headlocks and things, moving in for a shoot, whether that's low or high. Even these are type of grabs, grapples. What, where they grab on your body depends on the technique you use. Isn't that strange? If he grabs the edge of my arm, it's harder for me to do a wrist lock because it's way out there. If he grabs the center, it's very easy for me to control his wrist. Isn't that cool? Just knowing where they grab you, you it's almost like where they grab you categorizes what you're gonna do. Whoa, I move in, hit him here. Now, I can't take my arm up and hit him because I'm actually too close to John. You see how this is kind of foolish? So I'll headbutt and then move in from here because I was so tight with him, watch again. In, I'm right here, boom. Now watch my left foot as I rotate this and I hit, this scoops. Ah, <laughs> Forward, everyone go forward. Give him a right headbutt with the horn, bang. I'm twisting his wrist. Rotate here. Punches. I move in. Boom. Look at my left leg. It's underneath him. He doesn't think of this. He thinks, ow, my cheek. <laughs> then this hand very quickly comes over to break the wrist. I just drop here. That's going to snap.
that combined with a little bit of a shift gets them completely off balance. Boom, and then you snap it. Put them where you need them to go. Yeah, there, boom. How awkward is that for him? Shoo. Okay, try that out. Looking good, everyone's getting it. Grab, punch comes in. Whoa, I shift this way. I run right. Whoa, I shift here. They're subtle. Catch. Here. Continue your journey and rotate his wrist. Right there, it snaps. Different person, different body, changes thing. He grabs, he's expecting me to be right here. The last second, I disappear and hug Yoko Aruki. Rotate quickly. And you have his wrist. Again. Shift. I slipped. I, I lost his hand. But look where he is. This joint, his wrist, was no longer an option. His hand is no longer an option, but the next joint up, the elbow is available. You understand? This slipped. So what's next? Well, that one's next. And it's weaker than the shoulder. So I just grabbed and moved with my elbow to this yaku here. Oh, moving here, collapse. Full control, okay? <laughs> Don't pre-step. Create the space. It's not just pulling down. It is pushing forward and rotating. Now look how low I get. I didn't see anyone doing that. You guys are kind of here. Whoa. See the difference? Now, I'm going to do it wrong. Punch. See? Again. No. Again. I can't do it again. <laughs> Watch right shoulder forward, left shoulder forward. Let him grab a couple. Whoa, I didn't want any trouble. Talking may work. <laughs> Take position, fire in. I don't let him grab, I see it coming. No! I move into position from here. I take control. Line, sword. Yeah! Move into position. Notice how I'm in the center. My left leg's the key. I take him from a balanced line to a balanced point. He's on a balanced line. He's strong. He's still strong. I need to get him on his left leg. So I change a line to a point. <laughs> Do you see the point? One-legged ballerina point. To get there, you do something to move him into position. Then it's just a matter of turning. Not really turning, I am a couple ways of doing it. As I shift, when he's on the balance point, watch my left foot. Can you see it, this one? Because if I do that, he can still hop. The last second, I fishtail it in. Don't do that because it'll break his ankle. Cole's very good at a chemi. See it? <laughs> Grabbing the arm helps. Always leave the UK in suspense. <laughs> no one said you have to turn, so sometimes the nage is just moving in. Can 
can also get the other side. No one said you have to get the front. You can get the back. One more. Okay, have fun. Faster and more violent. Move here. Breaking his shoulder. And hooking up to break his shoulder and catching him. Body cut. Rotate. Here. Please be careful. What's the name of this lock? What's it mean? Warrior catch. Warrior catch. Empty arm, or is this one? That's Musa. Good. But Musha is break the balance with this robot. Then once it's over, you rotate. The strap, lower, stay tight. Push the shoulder if you need to. And, that's, and then rotate in, pulling and separating the shoulder. Okay, have fun. You can't percussively hit or kick. You have to grapple and go for these grabs. These are based on armor techniques. So why do we bother doing these in the 21st century? Because there are principles in these that are good in all martial arts. Can you imagine being in a martial art was so limited, they had like this, and that's it. And you're bored in six months. This is a lifetime's worth. Then we have our regular curriculum on top of it. Because the more options we have, the better fighter we'll be. If we're squaring off and we only know how to hit, that's it. You're limiting yourself. If we're only on the ground, you're limiting yourself. This art is the vastness of space. This is the Hubble telescope, not some backyard one where you're looking at the moon and thinking that's the universe. This is not the Hubble. It's the next one coming out in a few months. There's one that's going to beat the Hubble. The James Webb. The James Webb. This is the James Webb. Now, funny enough, this is the James Webb looking back into the past. Mm -hmm. The future one I want you to design, so one day when you have a school, you can come up with your own kata based off of these and call it your own James Webb dojo or whatever it is. But we respect the old style so that the modern style becomes more proficient and efficient. If you just limit yourself to one style of fighting, you are ignorant. Right, as Bruce Lee said, you want to learn them all. Steal when you can, listen while you can, and, and just practice. You cannot learn from watching or reading. You've got to get on the mat. It's all dirt time. <laughs>